Today I rewrote the career of Chicharito, the man who is better than Landon Donovan and Clint Dempsey everywhere. But boys, welcome back to the series where we go back in time and completely change a player's career. And this is Chicharitos or Chicharito if you guys did not know. And when I say completely change the career, we even put Chicharito in his rival club from where he started. Instead of starting off at Chivas, we have put him in the best club in the world, which is Club America. But boys, anyways, in this video, we'll go nine seasons into the future, taking account Chicharito's goals, assists, trophies, and if he wins any Ballon de Oros. We can move to any club we want at any point in time but boys here we have a 67 rated 18 years old chicha dios like i said we're going nice into the future and try to make up the best player in the world before we do start this video only 87 percent of you guys are subscribed make sure to subscribe if you guys do subscribe chicharito will go to the world cup and i know you guys want that so boys now that the rules are explained let's go ahead and give chicharito his very own development plan for the first season he is a striker so you guys know exactly what i'm gonna put and it's going to be a poacher he needs to get his finishing up because we know him as one of the best strikers in the world the man who is always at the right place at the right time always scoring because he's just always there, man. But boys, let's start it right away. Let's go ahead and sip to the end of the first season for Chicharitos. Leave down your predictions. How good do you think Chicharito will do in his career here in today's video? Okay, boys, we have reached the end of the first season for Chicharitos here at America. Let's see how he did. Okay, boys, like I mentioned before, the Mexican League are split into two different tournaments, the Apertura being the first one and the second one being the Clausura. So for the Apertura, the first part of the season, where did they finish? Like I said, the league table doesn't matter as long as they finish above 12th place. They have a chance to win it all. And fourth place, not too bad, okay. So that means they skipped the playoff run as we go to the quarterfinals. And they lost 4-3 to Tijuana, man. Come on. As for the Clausura, let's see if they finish top four again. Top five so they can skip the playoff run. And sixth place, that means they're in the playoff run. And... Then they got knocked out by Tijuana, man. However, that did not affect my boy Chicharito as he went up a plus 5 to a 72 rated. That's insane. But boys, it's time to see. Was it the club's top goal scorer? Did he get more than 10 goals? It's time to find out. Let's go to the goals and... 13 goals and 2 assists. That's an amazing season from Chicharito. How iconic though. On his first ever professional season as a professional player, he wears the number 14. He scored 14 goals. Amazing. Okay, boys. A brilliant first season for Chicharito. I'm gonna keep him here at least one more season here at Club America. The best club in the world, but... I'm so excited to see how Chicharito's career turns out in this video. <laughs> okay, boys, season number two here for Chicharito. I'm hoping for a big season. Let's see if he can win his first clausura or apertura or maybe even both. When it comes to development plans, let's see what we're going to give him. I'm pretty sure I'm going yeah, to keep it up, Poacher, man. He needs to get that finishing up, especially because Ochoa has just gone down. I just noticed, so... I don't think it's gonna be a good season to be honest. Okay, boys, let's sim to the end of season two right away. There's nothing really more to hype around. So let's sim to the end. Please, Chicharito. I mean, can you get more than 14 goals? Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, boys, it's the end of season two for Chicharitos. Come on, deliver a trophy. Okay, as for the Apertura, we finished in the top 12. That means we qualified, but then we get above fifth place to go and skip the playoffs and ninth place. Oh no, boys. Playoff round. We beat Kerato 4 0. We're in the quarters. We have never beaten a quarterfinal game so far in this video. And. We beat the Luca this time. 5-3. Let's go. Semi-finals. We beat Alas. We're in the final. Chicharito, get your first trophy and... No, boys. We lost to Tigres. Okay, boys. How about the second part of the season? A little bit better. Come on. Did we finish above ninth? Yes. Above fifth? Yes, boys. Did we go in first place? And no. Second place. Not too bad. Quarterfinals. We lost to Pachuca. Right back down to earth, bro. However, not winning a trophy has not faced my Chicharitos here. Reaching a 77. A plus 5 for him. Okay, boys. Did he beat his tally of last season of 14 goals? And it's going to be 14 goals once again. Mr. Consistent right there. And one assist as well. It's time for him to leave the club. I think this America side is just getting worse and worse because we can't sign anyone and Ochoa 74 rated. So. <laughs> okay, boys. Season number three for Chicharito. A 77 rated. 20 years old. Potential to be special. He is leaving the club. But, boys, let's him a couple days and let's wait for an offer for Chicharitos. Okay, boys, and we have gotten an offer. And you know what? I'm going to take it. We never go to Turkey in this video. So, let's go ahead and set Chicharito to Turkey for at least a season or two and let's see how he does okay boys in season number three we have packed our bags with chicharito and joined them here at turkey with trabzons up is a sport yeah i said that completely wrong 77 rated let's go ahead and give him his first development plan here at turkey it's probably gonna be poacher to be honest i know you guys hit on me so much for using it but we need his finishing to go up but you know what let's just let's see what else we can do 88 you know what Let's work on something else. Let's go for mobile striker. Let's work on his speed. He needs to get a little bit faster. But you guys know probably next season we're going to upgrade his poacher stats once again. So, you know what? Let's take a little break from that. Okay, boys. Let's go ahead and sim to the end of the first season here at the Super League with Trabzon Nazispor. I said that wrong once again. But let's see how Chicharito does. It might be his only season here. Okay, boys. We have reached the end of season number three. Chicharito's first season in the Super League. Let's see how he did. Okay, boys. I know nothing about Turkish teams. But I know the team that we're at is pretty good. So, hopefully we won the league title. And as we scroll up, we're in the top four. And 
No, boys. Third place. Missing out on the title by seven. Turk, Kupasi. Let's see if we won it. And yeah, no, we didn't. As for the UEFA Champions League, we're in Group F. I mean, imagine if we get out of the group. That would be insane. And... What? We beat Chelsea and Dortmund to get out of the group. What? I mean, an inspired one maybe? Round of 16? And... Yeah, our dreams go to die as we lost to Barcelona. Still no trophy for Chichelios. However, it has not affected him whatsoever. 84 rated. Absolutely insane for him. As for goals, his best season right now is still 14 goals. Can he go ahead and beat it? And 29 goals, 1 off 30 and 3 assists. What an amazing season for Chichelios. Obviously, he's playing in the Turkish League. But that is still an amazing season. And boys, I know I haven't been showing the Ballon d'Oro because I think at this point, I'm going to start showing it when my player is like 87 rated because... We know Mbappe wins it every year. And I'm tired of saying that Mbappe has won it. So, probably like around season 5 and season 6 of every rewrite video, we'll show the Ballon de Oros. But boys, another amazing season here for Chicharito. We're in the transfer list of next season. If we get no offers, I guess we'll stay here. But we want to leave to a bigger club. <laughs> okay, boys, season number 4 here for Chicharito. Like I said, we're in the transfer list. Them. If not, we'll stay here and try just to score as many goals and try to go up as much as possible. But yes, boys, it's time to go for Chicharito here. Potential to be special still. He's going to be a 90 plus and maybe even the best ever rewrite we've ever had. Boys, as you guys can see, Chicharito had a release clause I don't know about. And he's going to Porto, so I, I guess we're following them there. There's nothing we can do. Okay, boys, season number 4, I do believe. And Porto are balling, man. Thank God they paid a release clause for him because look at this team that they have. Okay, boys, as for the development plan, I, I have to. I have to give him max amount of finishing here at Porto because this side is amazing. We can maybe even win the Champions League here because they're amazing. Okay, boys, with this amazing side behind us here in season number four, let's see if we can win the league title and win a couple trophies because you never know. We can even win a Champions League here. Okay, boys, it's the end of season four and Chicharito's first season here at Porto. Maybe his only season. Let's see how he did. Okay, boys, it's a guaranteed top six finish in my opinion of being at Porto. It's, it should be a top three finish, to be honest. And yes, it is. Top two. Did we win the league title? And yes, boys, we have blown it out of the water. Chicharito's first trophy. Can he get a second here in the Taca Portuguesa? And no, they lost to Santa Clara. As for the Champions League, they were in Group C. Did they make it out of the knockout stages? This team is amazing, by the way. Surely they should. And... Second place, only with 9 points. Round of 16. They beat Liverpool 5-4. Promising quarters. They lost to United, bro. How? That's already one trophy to Chicharito's name. He has now at an 87. And this squad just continues to grow behind him. You know what? I, I have to keep him here another season. I know we can probably be at like Real Madrid, Barcelona, United City. But I want to try this out. Maybe we can win the league title. I mean, the league title. The Champions League title in an obscure team like Porto. At least one more season. If they don't make at least the semis in the next season, then I won't stay here any longer. I promise. But boys, let's see how Chicharito did in his first season in Portugal. And 30 goals. His first 30 goal season with two assists as well. Absolutely amazing scenes. Okay, boys. Starting next season, I will be showing the Ballon d'Oro. So stay tuned for that. But boys, an end to an amazing season. One more season at Porto. See what they can achieve. You know, they never know. They could be the dark horses here of the Champions League. But... Let's find out what happens next season. <laughs> okay, boys, season number five and Chicharito is already balling out in his career. He still has four seasons left. He's going to stay one more season here to see how he does. As for the development plans, what are we going to give him? Has he maxed out his finishing just yet? And 98, I think that's good enough. What else can we approve at this point? Let's go for target man. He needs his strength up because he is hella weak. Okay, boys, it's time to sim to the end of season five for Chicharitos. His possible, most likely his last season here at Porto because... He's about to reach a 90, so let's go ahead and see how he does. Okay, boys, first Ballon d'Oro of the video. I didn't want to waste y'all's time so y'all can see Mbappe win it constantly, but Chicharito finally has a chance, and can he win it? And no, Joao Felix has won it. Okay, boys, it's the end of season number five. Chicharito's second season here at FC Porto. Let's see if he won anything. Okay, boys, of course it's going to be a top six finish. I'm pretty sure we even won the league title with the amazing team we have. Yeah, they won it by 23 points. Like a Portuguese, can we win it for the first time? And yes, boys, that's a double for Chicharito. Can he somehow win a treble? Okay, boys, they were in the group of the Champions League. Come on, did they perform? And they won first place in the group with Bayern Munich. That's already good. Round of 16, and they lost the city. Only a double for Chicharito. Boys, our boy Chicharito has achieved a 91 rated already. Only five seasons in. And look at this team, man. Yes, I know Oliveira's trash. I mean, Grujic is pretty well here, but everybody else is good here. And it's, it's tempting to stay here, but I promised you guys if we at least reach the semis, we'd stay. But 
We didn't, so we're leaving. I mean, 89 got land away. But, no, you know what? We're leaving. But, boys, Chicha Dios keeps getting better and better. 30 goals in his last season. Did he somehow do better? And 32 goals for him. He breaks his set record once again. I almost mispronounced that. But, yes, boys, 32 goals. Two more goals than last season. Okay, boys, Chicharito now has three trophies in his career and has achieved 100 goals. Let's go ahead and transfer this to next season and see what insane offers we do get. <laughs> okay, boys, season number six. Chicharito is at an amazing 92 already. Oh, my God. With this season and... Three more seasons after that, he's probably going to be the first player ever in this series to reach 99. But let's transfer this to him and let's see what offers do come in. Okay, boys, we have reached the start of the season and he got zero offers, man. So I, I, I guess we have to stay here. Literally, I was waiting for like Madrid, Barca, United City. Nobody has offered for him, but I guess we're going to have to stay here because I don't want to send him through part of the season and then transfer him. So I guess it's one more season here for Porto, but this team just keeps getting better and better. I don't mind staying here for the rest of his career, to be honest. So let's give him a development plan. Let's see what we can give him. Let, let's see what he can improve on, to be honest. And it looks like we should probably go for either mobile striker or complete striker. I'm going to go for complete striker. Okay, let's him to the end of season six. And of course, see if he wins the Ballon d'Or mid-year and if he can win that Champions League. Second Ballon d'Or of the video, it's either going to be Felix, Mbappe, or Chicharito, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and see. And... Yep, here comes Killian once again. Hey boys, it's the end of season 6. Chicharito's third season at Porto, I do believe. Let's see how he did. Okay, boys, I'm convinced that it's another league title win. But let's let's see if it was. Maybe I'm co completely wrong. And yeah, they won by 9 points. A little bit closer margin this time. Like a Portuguesa. Another double for Chicharito. And yes, it is. Can we finally win a Champions League here at Porto? That would be hugely unexpected. Okay, boys, they're in Group D. Let's see if they can somehow dark horse their way to the final. Because this team is absolutely amazing. Group D and... Okay, they got in first place. Round of 16. They lost to City again. Back-to-back -back years. I think we just need to leave, man. I mean, leaving is not to us. If nobody offers for us, then we just have to stay here. Chicharito this season goes up a plus one. Now at a 93 rated. But Galeno 90. Vieira 92. Vitinha 92, bro. Oh my god, this team is absolutely insane. Okay, boys, Chicharito's best season was 32 goals last year. Did he somehow improve on that? And no, 29 goals and 2 assists this time. But it's still an amazing season. Those two trophies bring his total to 5 trophies now. It's time to see if we can finally leave. Let's see if anybody offers. If nobody offers, then we're just gonna have to stay here with this amazing side. Which, to be honest... I'm not totally against. So let's see what happens next season and season number seven. <laughs> okay, boys, season number seven. Like I said, I don't mind staying here, but we're, we need to go to a bigger club if we ever want to win that Champo League. Who knew we'd have to stay here at Porto for like three seasons? But let's transfer this to them once again. Please give me some amazing offers. Someone like City, someone like Barca, someone like Madrid. Boys, we have finally gotten a good offer. And look who it is. It is Man United. So I get I guess we have to go to Man United. The only offer we've gotten so so far. Okay, boys, in season number seven, we're here at Man United and this side. It's not better than the Porto side, but you know what? It has a lot of promising players. So hopefully they can grow a lot and help Chicharito win that Champions League. Somehow, some way he never won it with that Porto side, which is absolutely amazing. So let's just try here at Man United. It looks like he can grow. Let's go for target, man. Okay, boys, let's step to the end of Season 7. Chicharito's first year here at Man United. Let's see if he performs well. Let's see if he can win that champo. Boys, Chicharito is still looking for his first Ballon d'Oro. Can he finally win it? And... <laughs> Killian, stop it, man. Okay, boys, it's the end of Season number 7. Come on, Chicharito, please tell me you did well. Okay, boys, I'm assuming it's a top 6 finish. I mean, it's Man United, okay? I know I call Man United trash, but we know, like, 8 is in the future. I mean, that I hate. So, as we go up, are we in the top 4? And yes, boys, yes, we are. Come on. League title win. And let's go, boys. They won on goal difference as well. FA Cup, come on. Give me that FA Cup win. And <sighs> Brighton have won it. Carabao Cup, give me a double. Give me another double. And, bro, Tottenham have won it. Why? Okay. At least we should win the Champions League. Okay, boys, tell me we at least got to the round of 16. I'm just kind of nervous that we didn't make it to the round of 16. And Group B. Oh, sorry. That, that's my bad. It's not Group B. Group C. Group D. Group E. F. G. H. They're not in the Champions League. What? So I guess it's the Europa League then. They were in Group G, I guess. And yeah, they, they made it out. Come on. Please tell me we at least won all the whole Europa League. Okay, beat Fire Nord. Beat Wolfsburg. Be Leverkusen and yeah they didn't even win the Europa League man but they won the league title at least one trophy for him but they better win the champo next year it's a 95 rating for Chicharito bro oh my god there's what two seasons left to go Sancho 94 as well Elanga 92 Bruno Fernandes went down uh Mengi 89 Gonza 89 Baku 89 Wijdal 88 Henderson 90 this team is absolute class man so my question is with this amazing side how did they lose the Europa League final but anyways Chicharito's best season is still 32 goals. Please tell me they beat it. And 24 goals, you know what? In the Prem, it's actually pretty hard. So I'll give that to him. His tally is now six trophies. And I'm still hoping for that first Ballon d'Oro and that first Champions League next season. So 
Let's go ahead and find out. At 95 rating, he should be winning the Ballon d'Oro next season. <laughs> okay, boys, season number eight and 95 rating Chicharito. I'm, I'm very hyped for this season, okay? I'm not even going to put a development plan. Just, I mean, okay, no, you know, I actually want him to get to 99. So I'm actually going to put development plan on him. Okay, uh, can Chicharito actually be the first player to reach 99? At this point... I think we have to give him complete striker because we have never put that on him. Okay, boys, but it's time to sim to the end of season eight. Come on, give me a Ballon d'Oro and give me a Champions League. Chicha Dios, you deserve it, man. Okay, boys, come on. Th this is his opportunity. This is his chance. 95 rating, please. I I'm standing up for this one. I have to stand up, bro. Please. Because, like, I'm, t I'm tired of sitting down. Okay, I'm not going to stand up because you guys can't see me. Please, Chicharito, please win your first Ballon d'Oro and... Jaden Sancho! What? How? I don't care that he's also 95 rated. Chicha Dios deserves it. He got more goals and more assists last season than this man. Oh man, it's heartbreaking. No way Chicha doesn't go his whole career without winning this trophy. Okay boys, we have reached the end of the second to last season. Chicharito was robbed out the Ballon d'Oro this year. At least let him win the champo. Okay boys, give me another league title win. Come on, let's roll up and yes, go boys. This time by nine points. Hey, that's one trophy so far. Give him the community shield as well. That's a second for him. Give him the FA Cup as well. Give him every single trophy. Okay, maybe not that one. But the Carabao Cup, give that to him and... Bro, why? Okay, Champions League has to be ours though. Two trophies for Chicharito so far is gonna be a trouble with this Champions League. They're in Group B and surely they got first... Wow, back to the Europa League. Bro, my United are ass, man. Okay, well, surely they have won the Europa League at least. This time, they they better not lose, okay? Preliminary round, they beat Los Lili 4-2, run a 16, beat Fiorentina 5-0. Quarterfinals, they beat La Gladbach 5-3. Semis, during the final against Juventus and let's go, boys. We have won a European trophy, not the one we want, though. Chicharito remains at 95. Oh, no, I don't think he's reaching the 99, man. He needs to somehow, some way, get a plus four in the last season, which is probably not going to happen. Okay, boys, last season, 24 goals. It was decent. Can he somehow do his best every season? Beat 32 goals like he did at Porto and 25 goals. I thought this was him, but it's Elanga with 34. He's out. No, Elanga is winning the Ballon d'Oro next year. Just watch. 25 goals though and two assists is not too bad for him. Please, in the last season, give him the Ballon d'Oro. I think out of everyone who has won a Ballon d'Oro in all of this series, I think Chicharito deserves it the most, to be honest. Let's just go ahead and go to the last season. Come on, Chicharitos. Deliver with every single trophy, including the Ballon d'Oro. <laughs> okay, boys, it's the last season for Chicharito, and Sancho out of 96 is, is, is not, it's not good. Yes, yes, we have a good team, but he's probably going to take the Ballon d'Oro again. But this is about Chicharito. Chicharito, please. Win the Ballon d'Oro. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna put a development plan this season. Let's just sim straight to the Ballon d'Oro and then to the end of the season. Please win that elusive Champions League that has been escaping you all video. Okay, boys, it's the last chance for Chicharitos to get the Ballon d'Oro he deserves. I swear, if Sancho or Langa win it or Mbappe, I'm gonna be, give it to Phil Foden or something. Just don't give it to Sancho or Langa or Mbappe because it's just a laugh in my face and it's going to be. Jaden Sancho, bro. Why? Why, man? Okay, boys, it's the end of the final season here for Chicharitos. No Ballon d'Oro somehow, somewhere in this video for him. Even though, to be honest, he's one of the best we've had so far in this series. But please tell me he at least won that Champions League title. Okay, boys, guaranteed top six. Come on, guaranteed top four, please. Another league title. Back to back to back. And no, they lost it by a point, man. Okay, community should win that at least. Okay, that's one trophy for him. FA Cup, give him, give him another trophy. Come on. Villa, man. Carabao Cup, come on, come on. Boys, only one trophy for Chicharito. Please win the Champions League. As for the Europa Super Cup, we have won that. So that's a double so far. We just need to win that last trophy. Bro, I swear, if my United don't win the Champions League, I'm never joining them in any video ever. But boys, come on. Group D, please, somehow. Yes, boys. First place, when I 16. Come on. FC Utrecht. I swear, if we lost to FC Utrecht, I was going to lose my mind. But quarterfinals, please. We beat Leipzig 4-3. Semis, we beat PSG. If we beat PSG, that always win that always means we win the Champions League final, right? Because PSG are the best team in this game, okay? Final and let's go, boys! Chicharito has won 2-0 in the final. Thank God, bro. I thought this video was gonna be a whole ass hell after making fun of Donovan and Dempsey in the beginning. But you know what? My statement stands correct. He is better than both of them. Even better than both of them combined, man. A treble for Chicharito, and he has finished his career with 95 rating as well. Absolutely amazing. Screw Sancho for winning the Ballon d'Oro two years in a row. But boys, what an eventful rewrite. We went to Porto, who had an amazing team. He killed it over there, and he has killed it here. Can he somehow beat his record of 32 goals? And he has as well. No wonder they won a chap. 39 goals, bro. And four assists as well. But Elanga, 36 goals. Shout out to Elanga as well, but... Damn, man, close to 40. Chicha, chicha, adios, bro. He's a literally adios. He's a god, bro. 
Okay, boys, this is Chicharito's final stats. Starting off at America, then going to Trabizamba, whatever you say that name, then went to Porto, and then finished his career at my United. Started off at a 67 rated, finished at a 95 rating. 236 goals for Chicharitos, 17 assists, and 12 trophies. Absolutely insane, but somehow, someway, zero Ballon d'Oros. Well, boys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the career of the amazing Chichadios. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy as per usual. If you guys have not checked out my last video, make sure to check it out. I let a flag randomizer decide my team.